this is your very first time here my name is Maya and y'all today we are going to be focusing on doing some updates in the house so I got a few things that I have been buying on Amazon that we're about to get into today uh, but then tomorrow we are gonna go maybe not tomorrow but then in a couple days we're gonna go um, shopping because there's some a few stations and places in my house that I want to spruce up so we're gonna go and try to find some stuff for that the first thing the very first thing <laughs> we are gonna tackle today are our clips for our curtains y'all remember when I did the curtains and um, the ones that I bought I bought them on Amazon and I actually really really love the curtains right love them however um, they didn't hit the floor the way I wanted to and it's looking a little it's giving flooding <laughs> It's looking a little skeet now like that. So, so yeah, we went ahead and bought some rings from Amazon. Of course, everything from Amazon will be linked below. And these are what this is what the if I can get one out, my this is what the rings look like. But I have to, there we go. Uh yeah, this is what the rings look like. Um, they fit perfectly around the rods that I purchased, which are also from Amazon. We're gonna see if this gives us any kind of difference in length so that they're touching the floor. Uh, when we got married in St. Louis, the curtains there, they had the rings. And I was like, this is my first time seeing it actually in a home. Like I've seen pictures and stuff. And I really, truly, truly loved it. So I was like, let's try it out. I think I got enough and we gonna see. So <laughs> that's the first thing that we are gonna tackle today. Uh, just let's just go down the list of things we're gonna do in this video real quick before we get into the curtains. I also got a really cute art piece from Amazon as well that I want to hang somewhere. It's, it's neutral, it's cute. So we're gonna decide where we're gonna put that. I also bought some LED light strips and we're gonna be lining these um, in the kitchen as well as in my office, not my office, my closet upstairs. So we want to do that just to kind of spruce it up, give it a little bit of a vibe, you know what I'm saying? This past weekend, I actually went to St. Louis because my um, dad was having some health complications Applications. So I went there on a whim and he's doing good now. Now he's doing much, much better. My sister had this really cute like tea station and Jeff drinks a lot of tea. I drink tea occasionally. Um, and so this little corner that we got going on over here, right here, I want to make that into a re really cute tea station. So we're going to look at some inspiration for that and then probably go to like Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn. Obviously, if we're going there, we're shopping in general. <laughs> So whatever else we end up finding um, to update in the house while we're out shopping is what we gonna do. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started on these curtains. All right, y'all, so you can see right here how the curtains, like they don't really reach the ground all the way. And I just feel like I want them to reach all the way. Like that's just not giving what I wanted to give. I'm about to go ahead and just do one and then we'll compare it and see how we're feeling. Um, matter of fact, I think we're gonna just do the one that's over here, this one right there. And let's see what happens. what we wanted adding those did make them kiss the floor if y'all can see but yeah it is kissing the floor now i'm super duper happy so yeah it's literally kissing the floor now so i'm really happy about that so i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on a oh well let me show you the difference these obviously are not kissing the floor there's like a whole there's like a whole little spot thanks for my foot to go underneath you see <laughs> so I'm really, really happy with it. I'm about to go ahead and put you guys on montage so you can just watch me kind of change them all out. Not gonna make that long because that's boring. Nobody wants to watch that. So, and shout out to whoever gave me that um, suggestion. Because at first, I was like, clips? Mm, I don't know about that. But a few of you guys did tell me in the comments when I did the curtains that I need to go to the row. And I'm very happy that I did.
so we got what we wanted. They are more, a little bit more than kissing the floor. They're kissing the floor, but kind of draping on the floor, which I like the look of that. These are kissing the floor because I did mess up. Um, if you can see up here, you can see the extra little little uh, screw in the wall. <laughs> I did mess up the height of that one and I couldn't get it out. But anyway, those are kissing the wall, kissing the floor. But the other ones are kind of draping on it. Love the look of that. I'm very, very happy about that. So now y'all, we're about to go in here and get this, um, hold up, let me set y'all up. Yeah, I got this um, photo or this art piece from Amazon. So we're about to open this up real quick and see what it looks like. Um, I really loved it. The thing is, it is pretty big, and that's one thing I was not expecting. Of course, had I checked, you know, the dimensions of it. Um, well, I kind of did look at the dimensions, honestly, but I still didn't know it was going to be this big. I'm going to just use my keys to open it up real quick so you can see what it looks like. Then we can decide exactly where we want to put it. Y'all, I'm so happy about the curtains. I was a little nervous about, you know, whether or not um, it was going to fit, not fit, but fall on the floor the way I wanted it to. Oh, this is to you. Y'all see this? This will be linked in my um, Amazon storefront. This is it, this is cute, I like this. It is very much a print. I wish it was more like art-wise, you know, like left lifted a little bit, but it's okay. I can, I can work with this. Now the dilemma is where the heck do we hang something like this? So originally I was thinking maybe something like over here, you know, like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I need to see this from a distance though before I actually commit to this. Like, I don't know how to really but get it up there though. And it's gonna be too wide I think from over here. But I feel like I wanna skip that wall because here's my thing y'all, I do not like a lot of clutter. I like for, well, I like the idea of my house being open, minimum, minimal, but I also want, you know, decoration. So I can't say that I'm a minimal decorator. Like, I like decor, but I don't want it to be too cluttered. I don't want too much going on on the wall. So like for me, putting something here and putting something there would be too much, unless what I put there was very like streamlined. It's very, very simple, especially if I put this there. So. I'm also kind of thinking about moving that in there, but no, I, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. What I'm gonna do is, let me sit it on here, because I would hate to put a hole in the wall, uh, you know, and then not like it. Let me look from a distance. That is not giving me the vibe or the idea of seeing it, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's gonna look good right there. What do y'all think? So another place I thought about putting it is where I put my mom's um, painting in here, which I'm thinking about moving that painting somewhere else. So I thought about putting it right here, um, like that, you know? When you come in the door, you can see this. I'm gonna replace it real quick and just see how that looks. Oh. If it even holds, it might not even hold. here I'm gonna have to I'm gonna get have to need another way of holding it there because that thing right there is not gonna hold it good it's gonna fall but it's gonna fall I just want to back up and look at it though it's fine it's fine it's not gonna fall see I like that so much more I like that so much more than having my mom's thing there I can find a better place for my mom's thing because I felt like I wanted something more grand right here you know so you walk in the door and it's like oh hey you know what i'm saying <laughs> my sister does this so i'm 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 mimicking her right now so you walk in the door and you're like oh hey yeah oh girl looks so good in here you know what i'm saying and that's there you know what I, you know i like that what tell me what y'all think i think that's a nice little entry piece and it kind of gives you the vibe of what's going on here but my only drawback of having this here is because I have not decorated this room yet. So I have no idea what's going to be over there and what's going to be on these two walls here. So it's like, I don't want to commit to putting this here because we might have to change it because of what we're going to put over there. You know what I'm saying? And if we put it in there, <laughs> we can look at it more, you know? I feel like if we end up putting it in here, 
it's gonna get more view you know what i'm saying um amir and i use the garage so like not many people come through that door we don't have a whole lot of visitors right now honestly <laughs> so i felt like if we put it in here it's gonna be more of a you know a focal point like people can see it because we're in here you know but i would hate to put a hole in this wall if i don't want it right here so um So I went ahead and hung it here. I think we're going to leave it there for now. Um, I put my mom's picture here, but I, this is not going to stay here. Honestly, what I want here is maybe like three panel mirrors, like something like that. I don't want like a photo. Like I want to like, because so much light comes towards this area. So I kind of want to do mirrors there. So we're still trying to find a spot for my mom's painting. I don't know the most ideal spot for it right now, but um, I do like this we're gonna live with it for a second live with it this week see how we feel you know what i'm saying and um yeah i like it i like it so I did end up getting another light, picture light from Amazon, y'all. I really bought it because my other one was broken. I needed to replace it, but then as soon as I got it, the other one started working. You know how it goes. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and put this over this photo. So even if this does not stay right here, I know I'm gonna keep the light over it wherever it does end up living, but I love it. Later on, because as I'm walking around, I'm thinking about all the different plans that I have for the house. I'm a, we are gonna spill on that a little later on the vlog. <laughs> because I gotta tell y'all some stuff that I wanna change and some things things that you know I just want to do in the house so next thing are these um led lights y'all I bought these on amazon obviously and they are cuttable that's the that was the biggest thing for me is making sure I can cut them to be where I want but here's my question here's my question and what I'm afraid about can you cut them like and it's still be connected to the power source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it like all the way at the end. And I'm gonna, just because I don't wanna like lose the power just in case that's not the case. So the thing is, I went ahead and connected this one up. So the light on it is very, very cool, very nice. Come on, just press this little button. No, you do it like that, cause it's dimmable, right? So it can be really low light or it can be pretty bright. Right? So I really like these, but my question is like, they have little marks on them where you can cut. So like, let me see, right here, it's like a little cut. Oh, I'm close. It's like a little cut symbol. My thing is, can we cut it right there and then all of these come on and this? Like, is it some kind of Bluetooth something? You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, that's what I'm a little afraid of. Cause it's like, yeah, you can cut it, but is it gonna continue to come on? Um. Here's the thing, I also could put them over there by my by my bar area. That would be so dope, right? Anyway, let me figure out what I'm gonna do. And um, yeah, I'm gonna let y'all watch me apply them and we'll see what they look like. They did say also to make sure I know where I wanna put my plug. And I do have a plug inside of my island, so I think that's where I'm gonna plug it in. Yeah, down here, we do have a plug at the bottom of here. So I feel like this will be the best place like it's all the way under here on the bottom one then i can change my brightness and turn it on and stuff from underneath here and we can have it out like that and we can just start to line it here oh this is gonna be dope okay i'm just so nervous y'all i'm so freaking nervous okay. let's just do it
So this is what we have so far. It's along the bottom. I couldn't take it along the um, dishwasher, so we just uh, did it around it. I like it. I don't know why this lighting is doing this, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I like it for now. And then we got the bottom one here, and I just ordered some more on Amazon. I don't wanna overdo it, so I don't think I'm gonna go underneath the um, cabinets. We'll see, but I do wanna at least, um, I don't know, I feel like I need to get this little corner maybe go under the sink and then it's extended along this line and that might be it and then the the island i want to do the front of the island too hi y'all so it is a different day what's up um i did get the other lights oh. <laughs> i did get the other lights um in the mail from amazon so i ended up getting the same ones i was debating on whether or not i wanted to do the light um the yellow tone or if I want to do the white tone I want to have stuff with the white especially for up in my closet so I got one that's 16 feet 16.4 feet and then 32.8 which is what I used in the kitchen last time y'all saw me so um I am gonna go ahead and get this popping the only issue I mean I guess we can do an extension cord Maya where's your extension cord hold up let me find my extension cord all right y'all so I went and I found me an extension cord so if you look where my closet is obviously my closet's right here and y'all we haven't decorated none of this yet so like we still have a whole another like room makeover coming very soon once i figure out what the heck i want to do up in here but anyway <laughs> um uh, the plug is all the way over here on the wall so i figured if i do that eventually we'll have something here to where this would be covered up and i actually just stole this out of my beauty room but obviously i didn't want the cord from the light to be like all in the way so um the extension cord is going to have to work so i'm gonna go ahead and plug these in open this up and stuff and then um let's figure out exactly where we're gonna put it in the closet all right y'all so now the dilemma is figuring out where we're gonna be putting the lights um i do know that i want to get it lined underneath my you know my uh drawers and stuff or my purses and stuff are delayed or displayed but i gotta get it over there first right so um i don't really feel like let me show y'all what we talk about i don't really feel like i can get it like to display like my clothes and i don't know if y'all know this i tried to like do a little color coordination in my closet <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think there's any type of way to like display it because of how it's made here because it's like obviously I can't run it along this now I can run it along the back maybe 
That could be a good way to get it over here. Hmm. We can run it here and then take it up and then over there. Or no, run it. I don't know what to do. Okay, wait. <laughs> so I gotta have a game plan because last time I didn't have a game plan and I ended up cutting it and it was bad. So, um, I don't know. Let's just play with it and see what happens. So, I'm gonna just set y'all up. Y'all just watch me try to figure it out, y'all, because we trying it. <laughs> been a struggle you hear me yeah this has been harder than it looks <laughs> only because um i guess initially i didn't really think about how i was going to just kind of line it to make it work you know and it has been a lot of work but it's okay and the main reason y'all that i did this is because i want to get a custom closet yeah i want to get a custom closet you guys however um that's not my priority as of right now so I was like, what can I do to this closet to kind of like, you know, spruce it up a notch? And honestly, also in my mind, I was thinking, I don't know if I want to get a custom closet because this closet isn't really the size of like my dream closet. So I don't know if I want to like put that much money into it, if that makes sense. So right now, I'm thinking that I might just, you know, keep it with this, keep a little upgrade, you know, do a little something, something just to kind of satisfy me. But so far, I'm really loving how it looks. I'm really loving how it looks. It looks like I'm gonna have just enough for this little space. Uh, Cause I'm just lining the back of these. But I feel like this is like a very cute upgrade, like quick little upgrade for your home. If you don't wanna like spurge on like a custom closet or you ain't, you can't afford, you know, to do a whole bunch. Y'all don't mind my hair, child. It's looking a mess. I need to wash it. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like this is perfect if you just want like a quick little upgrade for your closet or your space in general. It just really gives a really cute vibe. So y'all, I literally have just enough um, of this. Like this is the end. I'm so happy. Look, this is the end. <laughs> it gave me just enough. Uh, I am gonna bust open the other long one for this. All right, y'all, so I mostly have it done the way that I want it to be, but now I'm about to like rearrange. I gotta kind of do it quick because I gotta get out of here. But <laughs> um, I kind of gotta rearrange. I wanna rearrange kind of what I had on display just because now that it's lighting and it looks cuter. Like, I really want to, like, have certain things on display now, you know? You know, I just feel like we should have cuter stuff now on display, right? Right? Like, I have my um perfumes in here, but now that I have this, I kind of want to put my perfumes on display. Because uh, I didn't line in here. I didn't put any lights and stuff in here. I want to display this. I feel like that's a really cute place for it. Yeah, let's do perfumes there. And then we can put like a cute pair of shoes right here. So I'm not gonna talk to it. Let's just do it. Be over here. Be over there. got dressed and I'm rushing I'm running late the reason I say I'm running late is running 
<laughs> the reason why I say I'm running late is because we have a wax appointment at 2.30. It's already noon and I want to hit Pottery Barn and Crate Barrel so that I can see what I can find. And uh, I gotta come right home after my appointment because gotta get home for my baby to get home so anyway this is what we're wearing i'm wearing this top from aritzia y'all know i've been wearing these tank tops so much and the reason being is because i can't fit anything else right now i don't feel comfortable or cute in a lot of things so um yeah i got these and i like to wear a crop top when i'm about to get a wax too um because i get my underarms and i don't want to have to take my top off you know so anyway got on these pants had these on last week a little slit in the front from shein jackets from zara and these are the vibes let's see i think i want to wear my fendi bag today yeah, go ahead and throw this on real quick um we'll hit it with some what body i already i just put on some um of the fenty beauty body oh i don't need my ring hold up i had just took my ring off to put on this uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put on some more on my hands i think i hit my else I like in between my fingers and y'all know I be ass sheet you know what I'm saying <laughs> well anyway um yeah make sure you guys are following my tiktok um I'm about to start posting like daily vlogs and like short mini vlogs and like um just some different stuff so y'all know I've been working on it <laughs> trying to tap into the tiktok so follow you girl I need more space in here I'm running into my clothes that's all right we're gonna we're gonna figure this thing out we're gonna figure it out anyway y'all um I think I'm gonna do my combination between my Soul Charosa 62 and then I think we're also gonna do the spray that goes with that that makes it smell divine. Just this one. Can't spray that one too much. I will start coughing and die. <coughs> See, <coughs> T told you. <coughs> Woo! Hi, right, y'all. Let's roll. Hi, right, y'all. So we are at um, Crate and Barrel, which is at Linux, and I actually have never been to this location, so I'm actually like super excited to go in here and see what they have. I feel stupid. Well, I don't feel stupid. Everybody else out here got on coats and and shoes and stuff y'all it is not cold out here it's 50 degrees so i got my toes out but to my defense i am from st louis so to me this is a warm day <laughs> that's just me so i am gonna go ahead and grab a cart should i grab this no i'm gonna just look around first so i'm not sure what it is i want oh they got the oversized mirror oh that board is cute Y'all see this black board? But I don't need no more boards. Or do I? You know what I'm saying? That would look really cute. With my big other one. And they also have my other uh, wine glasses. I'm trying to find them. Because I broke both of the ones I had. If I get them again, I have to really pay attention to it. Because I did a horrible job keeping up with them last time. These ones with the long stem. Y'all. I am just horrible, but honestly, I like these hip ones. I like this. These are cute, so I might get some of those. They have this real big mirror, but I don't know if this mirror is on sale. It don't look like it. Yeah, I just realized I was on Zoom. My bad. <laughs> anyway, they have this real big mirror, but I don't think this mirror is on sale, though. So, um, I don't know. This is my problem. Like, I love this. But it's way too small. Like, I'm so used to grabbing smaller things. Like, I've got to do so much better about that. Um, don't mind me, y'all. I sliced my finger earlier. But um, I'm trying to do better about it. I don't like this, but I feel like this is more of the scale that I should be going for. Like, something the size of this. You know, just to bring that grandness. And kind of exaggerate the space. I mean, the space is a nice size, but it's like, you know. I feel like that would really exaggerate it. Oh, I love this planter. It's so freaking cute. Isn't that pretty? Oh, y'all. I need this. I need this bad. But it's $800. So. It's cute, though. I don't know if I want to spend $800 on something like that. Like. Hi, Aaliyah. That it's so nice to meet you. you. Yeah, girl. I'm vlogging. Are you shopping home furniture? I am. Um, I moved last summer. 
Oh, yeah, so I've been here since. Time. Yeah, it's, I've been here since last summer. I feel like I've been rushing. Yeah. So I'm trying to just like take my time now. I feel you because I went so. through the same thing. And then you just got a bunch of stuff you're getting rid of, wasting your money. All right. Stuff. That's yeah. what I feel like. Like I did my whole office and I hate it now. Same. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to get like bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. Like I'm used to coming from like a smaller house. Mm -hmm. So everything I have is like super little. And now I'm trying to buy to scale. Right. And actually spend the money on it. Right. So and that's the worst part to the side. Right. Okay. That is the worst part. So Where'd you move from? Um, St. Louis. Missouri. Yeah. Okay, so it's different. How do you like it here? I love it. Yeah. Y'all say hi to Aaliyah. Hey y'all. <laughs> I'm not vlogging. Oh, I know your page. I think I follow you on TikTok, maybe? I think you just recently followed me on Instagram. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I'm like, no, that name sounds so funny. I think you just followed me on Instagram. Oh, yeah. But it's so nice to meet it's you. It's nice to meet you Good too, luck girl. With everything in your house, I'll probably see you around. Thank you. Now boo. we got each other. Right. I got you on Instagram. <laughs> okay, boo. Enjoy your See ya. All right, y'all. What else do we want? I feel like I'm not really finding what it is that I'm here looking for. You know what I'm saying? I just bought this, but I got it in black. They got this one in white. Yeah, I just low key feel like I'm not finding what I want. Like, and I don't want to just buy anything just because I want to buy it. You know what I'm saying? But I am thinking about getting these. I do. I did just get some of these, y'all. Y'all remember I have? I just got these. I forgot where I got them from. I want to say Hobby Lobby or something. But I think these are cute. And then they have them in different um, heights. So I got this one and this one. Yeah. I think I'm just super thirsty to like buy something. But I don't really know what I want. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what I want though. I feel like I'm doing the most. My mom told me that she was going to buy me a mirror for my house, right? And I feel like that big arched one is the one that I want. I think. But... I'm not completely sure, but I do really love it though. This real big one right here that I just showed y'all. I love this, this mirror, but I'm trying to think to myself, where the heck would I put it though? You know what I'm saying? I don't know where I would put it, but I do love this mirror. They got another one over here, but I think it's smaller. Yeah, they have another one over here, but this one is a whole lot smaller. And that one's cute too, but how much is it? I don't know, but I do really like this really big one. Though. It's so cute. I think I might run across the street to West Elm too. I feel like the only place that I could put this is like in my living room that I have not decorated yet. That's what I'm thinking, but it's like, that's the case. I don't really need it right now, right? I'm not about to just spend money just to spend money. So I think I'm about to buy these wine glasses and call it a day, so. Hi right, y'all. So now we are in Pottery Bar at Linux. So I'm about to look around and see what they have in here. For my thirsty butt. I'm all thirsty to, to buy something today. All right, y'all. I did spot something that I do like. I love this. I feel like this with like some stems will be really nice on my coffee table. Um, cause I've been, you know, I've been looking for something bigger and more grand to go on my coffee table. So I do love that, and I'm thinking about that. So that's on the list for now. Um, I don't know yet, but I do love that. I also just found this bowl here. Cause y'all know I have the moss bowl um, on my dining table, but I feel like I needed a bigger one. Um, Cause I love the moss, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted something a little bigger, a little more grand, and I really love this. So I might make another moss bowl for the center of my dining table. I really love this. Uh, wonder though if this is the only one they have because I really love this. I think this is really nice, so we might get this one. I feel like this is a this is big enough for like the middle of my. I just don't want to make the wrong decision and get stuff that's too small again. You know, it's significantly bigger than my other one though. Significantly bigger. But my question is, do I love that other vase? I might go back over to West Ham because I didn't go to West Ham. I said I was going to, but um, I don't know y'all. But I do love this. This is really nice. That's so elegant, you know? I love that. I want this. Let's go get it. Looking like it's probably the right one. Yeah, just... Yep, that's the one. Yep. No cracks. No cracks. Yep, it's good. Nope, that's the one. Is it good? Alright, I love that. You good? Yep. I love it. Mm -hmm. 
I am right in the garage across by uh, Victoria's Secret. This is heavy. It is pretty heavy. I'm gonna see what I can do. So I'm literally right across. So, I think I got you. Okay. Walk like that. I can yeah. Do this. Can you do that? Okay. okay. Elevators in the back right hand corner. Okay. Sounds I'm not good. gonna have you go through the steps. Thank you so much. <laughs> we got it. Now let's make it to the car. All right, y'all. So we are back at the crib. Sit y'all up at a good little angle. Okay, we're back at the crib. Um, I'm about to open this up, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. They have to give me this little thing to put on the bag so I can hold it. And it still was killing me. Like I had to switch hands like three or four different times on the way to the car. Like three or four different times. I kid you not. Come on. Yeah, this little thing that she put on the bag <laughs> so that I could hold it. But anyway, uh, Amira is on her way back now. So I'm gonna open this up and get it quick over there. I think it's gonna look really, 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 really good. So I'm super duper excited. And I, I really hope that I have enough uh, moss to actually like cover it up. So that is cute, you know what I'm saying? Or I might have to go and get some more from Michaels. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some more from Michaels. Y'all know Crate and Barrel, all we got were the wine glasses that I did not need. But who's, who's acting, who's judging me? Mind your business, judge yourself. <laughs> I definitely need those. I should have got. I should have also got my scandal ones. I should have bought them while I was there. It's not like I'm there all the time. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. Make that this thing. It, oh, this is nice and big, y'all. Be careful. Don't let me break. It. Her in all her glory, and she's cute, and she's cute. Mm. All right, let's go put it over here. Oh, like I said, we're gonna be replacing the one that's already over here. Y'all know I've been using this one, which has been the centerpiece, but I don't like it no more, well, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> well, I had been saying that I was gonna replace it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some, um, y'all know I put like baggies in here. Let me run and get the bags. I have a million of them. And I'm just gonna cover it with some bags just to give it like some fluff. You know what I'm saying? I really hope I have enough moss. I really hope I have enough moss. So yeah, I feel like this is, this should be enough. I do want it to be a little bit more puffed up. This is gonna take a lot of uh, moss to cover. But they're gonna, they gonna try to work it out. You know what I'm saying? I have more. It's fine. <laughs> I feel like I am gonna need a whole lot for this one. But I did pour some in another one. Um, I'm gonna go get that here in a second and see if we have enough. So, yeah, so I have a whole nother moss ball that I have put in my living room. Just, you know. A little, a little extra juice, even though in there, nothing's really like set in stone, obviously. But this takes priority, you know what I'm saying? This definitely takes priority. Yes! It's giving. Giving, it's giving. What is it giving, child? What is it giving? Some. It's giving cute, I love it. It is bigger! I finally got something big enough for the space. So. I think with this, we definitely want to remove, hold up, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute, so I'm not just talking. All right, for this one, I feel like we definitely want to remove the candles because they're not giving, you know, you know, they, they can be here, but like, not all the time. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Now, I do think I want to do some like additional um, something with it. You know what I'm saying? Or is this enough? We love it. I think that's so cute. It's very, um, what's the word? It's very minimal, but it it makes a statement. You know what I'm saying? Let me open the windows up a little bit so that we can get like a full view of the room, how it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to look. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I really like that. It's very simple, but 
I think it's very cute. I feel like, let me know in the comments if you think I should have something else as well, like in addition to this. Let me know if you think I should layer this with other heights or other things, or if you think this is enough. Or I saw somebody the other day and they had like one piece on this side and another decor situation happening on this side of the table or in the middle. Um, so you know what I'm saying? Like we could try different things. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but I do love the moss bowl. It had always been my goal to get a bigger moss bowl for this area. Um, the other one was really a placeholder. It came from my old house. And I think I love it. I think I, I think I love it. I think I love it. <laughs> so uh, we're happy. <laughs> so now I'm kind of inspired to move some stuff around. Um, I had put these, uh, let me bring y'all closer so you can see. I had put these um, things here, but Jeff said that he feels like, he said he feel like this is not real decoration. He's like, it looks like you just put it there. <laughs> so I had these here and I was gonna move them. Um, if you see over there, I put the other candle thing over there, but obviously all this is temporary. Right now I'm just kind of talking it through with y'all. I feel like we can keep this here. I was thinking about putting one of those on each side, but that's very matchy-matchy, and I'm not a, a big fan of matchy-matchy. Um, so we're deciding on where to put that stuff. I've also thought about putting this um, over there on the console table, but you know, that's also still a work in progress. But one thing I'm also thinking about doing is changing this out for this, you know? I feel like it doesn't necessarily need to go on a, go on, you know, because we want different layers and different heights. So I feel like it doesn't necessarily need to go on the book, you know? So maybe if we had the book, we could put this here, put the thing in it, and then put something else like on top of this. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be rearranging all this stuff like forever. Like nothing's ever gonna be really done. See, no, that's uh, now to me it looks less put together than it was before, you know? So it's like, wait, if I put the, the faux eucalyptus inside of there, it still needs something else. It's not big enough. That's the problem. It's not big enough. So all of that, we just gonna go back to what we had in the first place. Maya, what's this? What is you doing? It's fine. We're gonna figure this out. It's fine. I think I'm just so itching to like get this together, but it's cool. For now, I'm gonna just bring this over here and just sit it there. I can put something in it, but um, I'm gonna just leave it there for now. And let that be that. It's very random, but it's fine. It's fine. Y'all, Amira is here. Say hi to the vlog, Amira. Hi. <laughs> so, Amira, passing the Crate and Barrel, uh, oh, hold up. This? Whoa. Yeah, Pratt, pass me that. So light. Because there's only two everything. wine glasses in here. Only two. So, yeah, y'all, um, I think y'all already saw the glasses that we got. What? Um, I'll just show you guys again. These days, I gotta make sure I get two at least. And Jeff, Jeff be drinking wine with me, so. Aw. Um. Oh, y'all, this is a big old cup, and I love it. You hear me? This is what I need, okay? Then we just stopped and got us some wine, too, so. Have y'all seen all the birthday decorations? Look, it's birthday decorations in here. Because Amir's birthday, Amir's birthday was a few days ago. Say, happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Her birthday was two days ago. It's Friday now, it's Wednesday. But um, I'm actually filming... Um, this video and the weekly vlog, which will go up next Sunday right now, because I'm going to cover the, the ha second half of this week and next week. But anyway, um, her birthday was a couple days ago. So I think we're about to do something. What you want to do? Okay, she doesn't know. You want to go get some food? Sure. From where? I don't know. Where are we going to go? I don't know. You want to go to, I don't know. What kind of food do you want to eat? Yeah, this is gonna take forever to figure out. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> if we do end up going, you'll see it on next vlog because I'm taking my camera with me, but I'm not putting it in this video, so I'll see y'all.
Did you get a mirror for your closet? No, but I did tell Nana that I wanted to get, uh, um, I found a mirror. Remember the mirror I just showed you? I was looking at a crate and barrel. Mm -hmm. The big one? Mm -hmm. I want that one. Yeah. But I think I'm going to end up putting it, um, that's my question. Where the heck am I going to put it? On your closet, remember? I can't put it, no. That one was too big to go in the closet. Oh. That one was way too big. Oh, I thought you were sitting on something. Close your eyes. Wait, just close your eyes. For me? Wait, why I have to close my eyes? Is it that Guys, I want you to see the effect. <laughs> the effect. Oh my God, mommy. LED lights. Okay, look. You have LED lights. I knew it. Do you like them? I love them. You like it? Uh-huh. Okay, so I actually have to do another one. I have to do some more because I've, as you can see over there, I don't have any. But the, here's the problem. Here's the issue though. Here's the issue. You like it? You I like how it. I styled everything? Yes, I love yeah. this LED light. Okay, so um, the issue is, look, I had to plug them in. Like I had to do an extension cord and plug them in right there. And there's two different ones. And I got the, the knobs right there hidden. But the thing is, I gotta get another one because it's gotta stretch. Unless I pulled it underneath the carpet right here, it's got to stretch all the way around How do you pull it to underneath? come right here. How do you put it underneath? People put stuff underneath the carpet all the time. How do you do it? But it's going to have to stretch, and that's my thing. I'm like, I might have to like put it along the back, maybe, uh -huh. and then bring it over. I don't know how it You know what I'm saying? Because then I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to do it like right here along the top. The other ones, like back here, there's a light right here. Like, right there, you see this light? Mm -hmm. So I got it hidden. So the other ones, I could hide on this thing, but I think I want to just do a straight line across there. Yeah. So I'll do it like behind here, and then we'll straight line. I think What'd that you look think? good. You like so? You like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. You love it. I love it. You don't love it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So, um, I wanted to end the vlog off and it's morning time so your girl is tired but i'm up getting work done <laughs> anyway i want to end the vlog off kind of just talking about um some of the stuff that i plan on doing in the house i hope my lighting is okay y'all know i'm paranoid as heck about this camera but i feel like i'm figuring it out but anyway i think i found i think i found i know y'all i know i haven't telling you guys that i was gonna find um a some stools you know what i'm saying uh for the kitchen and i think i found the ones that i want so i'm about to order them this morning but y'all these stools are beautiful okay um i have them up on the screen right here but i'm gonna go ahead and pop some pictures up right here so you guys can see what they look like they are the jagger counter stool in natural from our house i think that's how you say the furniture store name our house yeah y'all this is the one that I want. I freaking love these. And I think these are going to look perfect in the kitchen. Like, I feel like they are just, like, everything. Like, I feel like it'll elevate the, the, the space. And I feel like it matches our, not even feel like, I know that it matches the aesthetic absolutely perfectly. So, love those. Definitely want to be doing those. Um, I know at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that we were going to be doing like the coffee tea area. We didn't get around to doing that this video, but we'll probably end up doing that in a vlog or something. Um, cause I doubt I'll wait until the next like decorate with me video. I'll probably just do it in the vlog. So stay tuned for that in my weekly vlogs. Um, and then another thing that I wanted to just mention to you guys. Okay. So one more thing. I feel like there's certain things in my house that I rushed on decorating wise because I was trying to like get content out or you know get the house not to be empty and that's a big mistake and my sister Ben told me that before I moved she's like do not just buy anything do not just decorate and do temporary stuff really find what you want because you're going to regret buying the little things you know what I'm saying and you're going to want to change them like immediately and I am oh, there y'all my office is not what I want it to be um it's nice it's nice but it's not my original like inspiration for my office I will go ahead and throw up some inspo pics here apparently this is the inspo section of this video but it's not really what I wanted it to be it's the vibe it's the colors you know what I'm saying but it's not like it so I am got I got some ideas for this room I'm thinking about doing a feature wall like a literally like built feature wall in the back and um changing some things out now there's certain things right now i'm not going to change out like 
this desk, which is heavy as all you don't know. Um, <laughs> the rug, probably certain things that's gonna stay in here, but I'm gonna do some different design elements to make it different. Like these bookcases got to go. What I was thinking about going to Hobby Lobby and racking up on small decor items for those, I don't know. But it's like I said, it looks nice, but it's not really what I wanted. I feel like it was a last minute type of thing because I was filming a video on it and I needed the content and I wanted this to be together because I'm in here all the freaking time. You know what I'm saying? So I really regret that. We're gonna do something different eventually that just let, let y'all know that's on my mind. There's a few other things throughout the house that I feel the same way about that I wanna make sure that it's looking up to par to what I want because we're going to be here for a while. Uh, me and Jeff were actually just talking about um, the longevity of this space yesterday and kind of when we're going to leave and stuff like that. Um, I know one thing, I don't want my baby to change schools again as far as like being in middle school, high school because she's making friends, she's doing well, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to be here even if we can afford something better very soon which I believe will be the case we gonna stack up we gonna invest we gonna get our stuff together and we're gonna stay here probably till the mirror graduates from high school that's what I'm thinking because I don't want my baby to move again so I want her to have that stability so I really want to get the home the way that I want it because that's another what six years <laughs> Yeah, we gonna do this up the way we wanna do it. And we're gonna invest in it because it's worth the investment. We're gonna be here that long, you know what I'm saying? So, in two ways, y'all. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Love y'all. <laughs>